Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, everyone. So um, in this opportunity, I would like to review and provide information related to debate. The, there are two things that I want to share and present today. First of all, it is about the argument or argumentation in debate. Second, it is about rebuttals. So I think these two points are of important parts in debate because in every aspect of your position, you always have to argue and make arguments. Besides, you are also responsible for providing rebuttals or responses to your opponents. Okay, now let overview the skeleton or the elements of arguments in debate. First, you need to provide the assertion with you. So, the um, idea of arguments in debate, it contains first A, assertion, second is reasoning, R, and third is evidence, and the fourth is link back. So, we call it as an RL, assertion, reasoning, evidence, and link back. So this is a very simple um, acronym, a very simple analogy that in every aspect, when you try to argue, you need to provide assertion, reasoning, evidence, and close it with link back. I will let explain what are assertions, reasoning, evidence, and link back. So let's begin with the positive theme. If you are in positive theme on in government side, so you actually have the so-called burden of proof that the things that you have to prove to the adjudicators as you are eligible and capable of acting as the government. First, as the government side, you need to assure and prove to us that there is a severe problem happens. So whatever the motion is, you need to first identify that there is problem that you let her aims to debate. Why it is important? Because we don't debate a thing that is not problematic. So we do debate because there is a problem. And we think that the problem is very severe, very serious, and very problematic. Therefore, we need to address this issue. Second, if you think and have assured or have presented that there is a severe problem, the second point that you have to prove is that, that this problem need urgent response or need to be addressed um, significantly. And the third, have given that you have the problem and you have glorified or problem with the problems, you think that we need an urgent act and to respond to this problem, you let them try to provide a solution. This solution is typical for a type of philosophical um, proposal debate. So, for example, this house would legalize um, uh, uh, drugs, for example. So, you try to propose the thing that you are going to legalize drugs. But before you argue that you need to provide legalization of drugs, you need first to argue, provide us with, you know, problems. That is a problem if the drug is not legalized. Therefore, let's say you could proceed with the solution. When providing the solution, you need to also address that the solution is feasible to do. And let's say at the end, you could assure that your solution, your solution is the best solution to solve the problem. It is the most significant way to tackle the problem. So that is the burden of proof at the positive side of the house. Now, 
What if you are in negative side of the house? So first of all, if the positive side of the house have convinced you that that is problem, what you have to do is actually simple. So as negative, what we need to do first, we need to claim that there is no problem. Therefore, we don't need to debate or argue upon or respond to the positive side of the house. But be aware that when you do this, you need to provide also argumentation. Second, even if there is problem, you will also say that the problem that the government side of the house problematize is not severe, it's not serious problem. So this is the way how you let it try to build up your argumentation or your position or stance as a negative team. The third, given that the positive side of the house says that the solution is feasible, the proposal is feasible and could solve the problem, you could say that, not could, but you have to say that the solution cannot or could not solve the problems. So first you say that there is no problem and you say that even if there is problem, you believe that the problem is not severe to address. Even if the problem is severe to address, the solution is not feasible or cannot solve the problem. And this, the fourth layer you can, you can say is that even if they have solution that could solve the problem, you think that you will have a better solution or better proposal to address the problem which is more advantageous for example but to use the fourth layer you need to first you know provide a very clear picture a very clear argumentation about the previous three layers do not simply go to the fourth layer unless you have provided clearly what happened with the first second and third layer because we don't want to debate in two ways they say about a and you say about b for example no, this is not the way how you how we debate. So we debate if the government side say A, you say A minus. Later we'll expand it in a rebuttal. And providing another solution, another proposal is like comparing the solution or comparing the proposal, which is to some extent it could be you know two ways debate. We have to be very careful in adding another counter proposal for the proposal debate or proposal motion. So I think that is the way how you let it build up your position, your stance, as you have the burden of proof in either as government or as the opposite team. Okay, now I want you to have a very quick test. If you are as positive team, what are your burden of proof? Also, if you are negative, what are your burden of proof? You could provide and prepare a piece of paper and try to respond to these uh, questions. Or you can also just comment in the column. Okay, now let's go to the assertion. So assertion actually is simple yet clear claim or opinion. So whatever comes up from your, uh, your mind and you say it is kind of statement that is uh, the assertion in a very simple definition. For example, to study English is important. So this is the assertion. If you put it into a um, debate like model, so we'll have the motion. For example, the motion, this house believes that English language should be made mandatory in all school administered under the Ministry of Religious Affairs. So, you will let it try to provide your opinion, your claim. For example, if you agree with the motion, what is your position? What is your claim? What is your opinion? You might provide several alternatives or several options for this uh, assertion of the motion. So now let's have a look at this example. Um, previously, you have the motion, for example, that we have to make English subject mandatory for all school levels administered under the Ministry of Religious Affairs. Or you will have also the claim or opinion that to study English is important. And then you try to provide the reason. 
the most reason that normally students claim is that why you need to study English? Why do you think English is important? Because English is an international language and full stop without any further elaboration. This is not enough in debate. This is not enough reasoning. Reasoning is trying to explain the assertion, trying to explain this idea of English is important. Why and how it becomes important? But why if English is an international language, it is important for us to study? Why if English is an, an international language, it is mandatory for all schools and administered under the Ministry of Religious Affairs to study English subjects? So you need to dig elaborate more why such important appears, why such urgency appears, or why we need to study the fact that English has been already become uh, becoming an international language and it's become important. So it's enough to simply say I need to study English because it is important language. Why it is important? Because it is an international language. No, this is not enough for reasonings. You need to elaborate more. Now, uh, have a look at this example. So, if we try to trace back, to come back to the practice motion. So, this motion requires you to think why let uh, all schools administered under the Ministry of Religious Affairs need to make English language mandatory. So, all students in their schools should study or learn English. So, for example, you say as your assertion, your claim, that English is important language. English is an important language skill that people should learn. Okay, so this is common sense. All people may say it. Most of people will agree that English is important language skill. And the idea is why if it is important language skill, why if it is, an, for example, international language, that people later should learn the language. Okay, so this is the problem. Now, you will also probably say that okay it is an international language used by many people in the world so we know that there are many people in the world use English as either first language second language or foreign language yeah it is the fact but it is not enough convincing to say that um, because it is international language therefore we need to study the language and for example you also add your another reason, we need to master English to catch up with modernization to work overseas or and improve economic status. So you try to relate the language with the idea of uh, modernization, with the idea of upgrading the social status and economic status. Therefore, you think it is important to study the language. And before that, you also have to mention that the current condition of the school or the people uh, entering the school is not modern enough, is not advantaged enough with the economic status, is not, you know, uh, is not uh, catch up, uh, cannot catch up with the working overseas. Which you think that working overseas, improving economic status is important, and those things could only be happen, could only happen if you study the language of English. Therefore, you need to study the language. Therefore, you need to make English mandatory, for example. So this is the way how you later try to accumulate, to try to elaborate more ideas into the idea of making English language mandatory. But first, your reasons to make it is simply as international language is not enough to claim that language or English is important. Now imagine that we'll have the motion, this motion, and you have provided already the backgrounds of the motion and also the team, uh, timeline, uh, team line. And now we're going to go to the assertion. For example, in assertion we have why you believe that you have to agree with the motion because you think that English is believed to be an important asset to stay competitive in the recent globalization. 
where almost every aspect of human life requires English competence. So, given that idea that English is an important asset to stay competitive, you know, to stay um, uh, to become competitive in globalization, therefore you need to make English language mandatory for all school in under the under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And of course, I expect that you have mentioned previously that the current status quo, the current school, are not, you know, um, competent enough to catch up with the competitive uh, ethos, and therefore they need English uh, mandatory. So the reason then you could provide letter. Um, not, usually, we don't write full sentences in a debate, it, but it uh, it depends on your way how you develop your ideas. Let's say we are going to use a simple uh, concept. For example, you only uh, write the keyword. So why I agree that the government should make English mandatory uh, to be learned by students on all school administered by under the Ministry of Affairs, um, given that it is important asset to say com uh, competitive. First, I would like to say that English now is not only simply about the skill. It's English is not merely about the competency or proficiency of uh, communication, but English has become a, a capital or so-called linguistic capital. So if you could master English, you could later gain the capital. You could later gain bargaining position as if that you are a competent user of English. And this capital of linguistic or language capital could later be transferred into convertible social capital. So you can imagine how if we master English, we could later upgrade our social status. We could later make it as our weapon to stay competitive with current condition and with most of the human life today requires English language. Therefore, making English is our skill to master it could make us be able to compete because the language of English today is comfortable toward social capital as if we have another power of making uh, having English. And this power later can lead us to grant access toward the knowledge. So we believe that most of the sources in this world today written in English and also to our social and political side, not only for the sake of education, but English has provided us and facilitated us with the access to the social and politics. So most of them are now seeing English a very uh, promising capital to be acquired. Therefore, to learn English and to make it mandatory in all school level, uh, school level is a good idea because by providing them access to English, it means that we provide them with the capital of English. And this capital of linguistic capital of English could be later convertible or converted into the social capital, which is important for their social life, not only for the sake of their education to pursue higher degree, but also for the sake of their social life. And also, for example, they would like to uh, participate in a political uh, spectrum. And therefore, we think that providing English language as mandatory subject in school is very important. In other way, it will also provide them opportunity to enable to mobile worldwide. So we believe that English language is not simply again as a, uh, a skill, but this language is a capital which make them capable of mobile. In with this mobility is one of the key asset as us as the uh, you know as the. Uh, people to stay competitive. We cannot simply stay in our home. We cannot simply stay in our local area, even if we could stay in our local area, but we could virtually mobile by using English. Therefore, English language nowadays is inevitably or cannot be neglected that it has a very significant role in providing us with the capitals, either ca linguistic capital converted into social capital, would make us have the grant or access to the knowledge, social and politic. We later uh, make the student, for example, could have opportunity toward worldwide mobility. 
And as the evidence I would like to provide to you is that most of the resources, about 80% of resources are written in English. So how could we let the grant the access to knowledge if we cannot understand the English, for example? So the, since the knowledge and books resources are written in English, we should know the language of that knowledge. And this knowledge will provide us the opportunity to upgrade our social and economic uh, status. Moreover, we know that most 80, 70, uh, 60, Seven percent of highly paid jobs require English skill. So, given that people always have desire to upgrade their social status, their economic status, even political status, we need to provide them with appropriate opportunity and the skill that they need. Answer is English. Therefore, I believe that providing English language as mandatory subject in all school is a very good idea since it's important for them to stay competitive since English is not only as a border skill but it has been converted into linguistic capital which is transferable into having social capital necessary for them to get access to the knowledge also social and politics at the end by having this skill and having this asset it will make the student enable them to become uh, more mobile or uh, provide economic uh, mobility. For that reason, I believe that the idea is strong and good to propose the motion. Now, I have already explained to you the example of providing arguments that it consists of several factors, several elements. Now, I want you to also practice using the same motion, but you should not simply depend on the perhaps example provided earlier. You may develop your arguments. So, good luck.